In this lesson, we will create our first angular component. So, what is an angular component? An angular component is a piece of functionality, um, the logic behind that functionality and also the view for that functionality, uh, the encapsulation of those two things. If you want to think in more simpler terms, say one of the feature in your page uh, in your website or say one of the page you can consider that to be a component to start with and as you go further you will understand it better now previously we have generated our first angular application let's go to that application and do some cleanup from there. So I will go to the Angular application folder and then on the address bar, I will type CMD to open the command line from there. Now we can start our application by typing ng serve dash dash open. So that is going to compile the application and once the compilation is complete, it will open the application for us on a browser as well. So here we have the application and it also tells us how to create a component. Um, but this default page, if we want to get rid of this default page, so for that let's go ahead and open the source code for the application from visual studio so let's open visual studio and click on open folder and here if we select the source code folder and open it it will open the source code here so from there we can go to one of the component which is the app component the default top level component uh, which is already generated we can go there and open the html file for that here in this file you will see that the lot of styling information um, and then some html for the page that we are seeing on the browser uh, but if you go at the very bottom of the page, you will see there is this special tag router outlet. So this is where all the other components that we write, uh, they will be shown up here. Uh, we'll get into more details of that, but at a high level, uh, anything above these are placeholder as it is mentioned here. So we can go ahead and we can delete all those content. And to see that to take effect, go ahead and save this page. And now if you go to browser, you will be seeing an empty page because we have deleted all the contents so next thing to make sure that um, our code is getting reflected properly let's just type here this is the app component html and let's save that and now if we go back to browser you will see that which means our addition took place. Now, if we want to create another 
component or our first component which is not the default app component we can go to the command line and we can stop this process by typing control c and by saying yes to this termination job now we can type that command for generating our component so let's create our first angular component and let's call this profile so ng generate component and then finally the name of the component profile and after that if i press enter it will create the component for us with four files um, two of the files that we will be frequently using is this first one profile or any other component.html that's the view and then profile.component.ts uh, which is short for typescript that's the class for the component now we can go from the um, IDE to that component and we can see those uh, file there and if you open the component view you will see that it just by default typed something that this component works and then here is an empty class uh, for that component but now how do we from our browser go to this particular component and see the functionality of this component for that one we have to configure the routing so routing is a module in angular that allows you navigation within your application we'll see into more details of routing later but for now we're going to just add one route or path uh, to this component so for that let me just copy this component name and then we'll go to this app routing module.ts and when you open this you will see that by default it shows empty routes so no routes is configured yet so we are going to create our first route so i can go ahead here between those two curly braces so as you can see the route is basically an array uh, so these um, square brackets are for showing an array and the array will have each of those routes so i can go there and i can type my first route so each route will have at least two things one is the path so let's give the path attribute to have the value profile and then next the component that this path is going to point to so let's give the component here the component value is the component we just created profile component and it will give us this error that it does not know where to get this component from so what we can do here is we can use this id feature to click on quick fix and click on the solution that it provided but we could manually type that too but this is just to import the component from where it is uh, the source code for the component so once we have that now we can go ahead and see this in action we need to go back to command line again and then we need to serve the application using ng serve dash dash open so this will open the this will compile the latest changes and it will open the application for us so it opened the application in the default page but we just created a route called profile so to go to that component we can just type here and say slash profile and it will take us to that component 
and you can see here that component content from that component is appearing and also the this is the app level HTML that is also appearing here so our component first component is working